it? All the time. And all the time. God is good. Um, I am not a fan of being in the spotlight. Please spare me a couple of minutes to say one or two things. And I said I'm not a fan of being in the spotlight. Um, so most often I don't tell a lot of things to people. I only tell very few people, maybe one or two people who may uh, be around. But something happened today. I received a surprise of my life, and I feel that if I do not share with you, uh, I should be an ingrate. <laughs> yes. Um, I had just finished celebrating baptism, and I knew that I had a wedding before this 5 p.m. mass, so I was running to the rectory uh, to see what I could do before the wedding. The moment I got there, I was told one of the maintenance guys was at the Murphy Center with clothes. For me, he doesn't know where to place them, so I should get there and receive the clothes. And I ran back, running down the stairs and calling the name of the person. Manny, you know Manny, right? Manny, Manny, no one was responding. Then I entered the Murphy Center and I saw not many, but many people gathered with a banner written on it, congratulations, Father Patrick. Um, and some of you may know that I have been studying since I came to you four years now. Thanks be to God for the first time ever in my life. Yesterday in Queens at St. John's University, I had the privilege to walk the stage with in my cup and gown, and I have my cup here in testimony to that. <laughs> For me, this is not a personal accomplishment. You have helped me to do this. I never knew that I could do this. If I had not come to St. Clair's, I couldn't ever have done this. Your support, your love, your acceptance, your encouragement, all have helped me to do this. It is not my accomplishment, but it is our accomplishment. I will forever be grateful to you for who you have been to me, not just for what you have done for me, but for whom you have been to me and who you are still to me. Thank you and God bless you.